Welcome back to another edition of Flight Tying for Beginners with Jim Mishura. Today we're going to tackle a little bit of a harder uh, fly, especially for beginners. But this is going to be a no-hackle bluing olive. It is a size 20 hook that I have in a vise. And this is a an Orvis uh, big eye hook. They make the eyes a little bigger for us guys that uh, have little trouble seeing the eye. We're not going to use any dubbing. If you use dubbing, you use the very, very minimal on something this small. I'm going to use olive thread. We're going to start that thread behind the eye and bring that back to the tail. We're going to put that tail on first. I'm going to take micro fibbits and I'm going to take about two or three of these. I'm not going to split them so it doesn't matter if you have three or four even because fish aren't going to count them. But we're going to tie these in. And we're going to put them in. I'm going to go loose loop and then pull it straight up. I'm going to give it a couple more wraps and I'm going to pull this to size. And I pulled it out. Let's try again. I'm going to get that closer to the size I want. And I missed it. There we go, and we have to get that shorter. So go ahead and pull that, and your tail should be about as long as the hook shank. And now we can wrap the body. We'll go ahead and get rid of that excess. And then with the body, you can put multiple layers of thread on there make it a little thicker but you can also taper it by not going back all the way and then bringing it forward and then I'm gonna do that one more time I'm not gonna go back all the way again and then I'm gonna bring it forward and we got a tapered little body there and we stopped about one eye length from the eye of the hook now we're going to take goose quill, we're going to take a right and a left, so when you put them together the concave sides are together. And the way you're going to measure the size of this wing is bring it up, do it on the bare, wing, on the bare hook, touch the hook shank, poke the tip through, and there's going to be your the size of your wing. This is actually a lot easier than you uh, you might think. Then we're going to pair the we're going to pair the quill slips together. Here we have them paired together and get them the same length. I'm going to put them one on each side. Get them a little closer for control. And we're going to make that wing just the length of the body also. And I'm going to grab them. And I'm pinching them there. I'm going to bring it up. Loose loop. Pinch it between your fingers. Then pull it straight up. And then you can do a little bit of adjusting if you need it. But don't pull hard. There we go. Secure that. And then we're going to cut these down as close as we can. Put that on the slide. My scissors all the way down.
slide my scissors down and then we're going to go ahead and clean that head up you can go ahead and divide these if you'd like be careful because you can pop the break the quills apart very easily and here we have them divided we're going to take our whip finish put the hook on top of the thread take the thread around the camel hump bring it back invert it there's our X take that X down to the shank one two three reps take it out of the camel hump pull it pull the hook out tug on that slightly and here we have a no hackle size 20 no hackle blowing olive looks like I have one tail sticking up we'll just put that back where it belongs take a little bit of head cement we're going to put this on the bottom and it's all thread so you don't have to worry you can get the whole thing actually let that soak in just a little bit and then you can touch it with your finger there's a nice size 20 no hackle blowing olive like I said, this is good where the trout are selective, and it's not very important that your that your fly is floating well. This is going to be way down in the film. You're going to see maybe the tips of your fly, of your wing, but this is going to be a, a good uh, small fly for that blowing olive hatch. So I hope that you learned something from this video. I hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Please visit my sponsors and let them know that I sent you. If you do subscribe and refer me to your friends, let them know to hit the notify button so they don't miss any of my videos. If you'd like to purchase any flies for me, go to etsy.com slash shop slash flymanjim. And if you don't see it there, just send me a message and tell me what you're looking for. And I'll get right back to you. And thank you very much for watching my videos.